Have live team coverage tonight, beginning with CBS 2's Christy Fajardo with the latest on the Saddle Ridge Fire investigation. Christy? Yeah, Sarah, of course, the big question is what sparked the Saddle Ridge Fire? At this point, LA City Fire isn't commenting on a possible cause, but says it remains under very active investigation. Fire investigators were back out in Silmar, this time using a drone to inspect the SoCal Edison transmission tower. Apparently, following up on witness reports <laughs> that on the night the fire broke out, they saw flames around SoCal Edison equipment on Saddle Ridge Road. Donna Porco says her neighbors believe they saw where it started. He and his wife saw that the brush underneath that tower was on fire and the wind was blowing so hard, it just, it took off. So you have to be able to, to look at all potential ignition sources, all potential causational factors. Robert Rowe is with Pyrocop and is hired to carry out fire investigations. And although he's not on the Saddle Ridge case, he cautions there could be other explanations for what witnesses saw. There can be signs of electrical activity in certain areas. Uh, the hard part is being able to determine if that was the causational factor or if that was a residual factor, uh, say for instance a, a power line being uh, consumed by fire and then failing because of that, that fire. He says for the next few months investigators will talk to witnesses, pull 911 calls and eliminate possible causes one by one, including arson and campfires, and will also look over SoCal Edison records. Tonight, the company issued this statement, reading, determining the cause and origin of the fire is a lengthy process. Our priority right now is ensuring the safety of our customers, employees, and first responders. SCE will fully cooperate with investigations. We know that on Friday night, investigators were also out at that transmission tower. We're told the investigation could take months. Live in downtown L.A., Christy Fajardo, CBS2 News.